Hey, what's up, guys? Obey oh, Brandon here with the review of the spec fitted for the iPod Touch 2G. Have it in this really cool design. Uh, it's a fabric case on the back. So before you, I start, be sure to check out Bonoka, sponsor this video. Check them out in the description, guys. Great videos, etc. Like that, you guys know the deal. Show them some love. Show them some support. So here is the spec fitted for the 2G right here. Have this in this nice black and white striped uh, color. Has this little circle cut out right here, which you can feel the fabric on the back of the case. Truthfully, it wasn't what I expected. I was uh, expecting to feel something more softer, but this is all right. Literally, it just feels like strings uh, glued onto a piece of plastic back. So here is the fitted. Uh, I, I got this from spec.com. Uh, they just continued their reviewer code for some reason. I think that was because people kept abusing it. So here you get a little booklet instructions. How to install the case and etc. Specproducts.com is where you can check them out. And let's get into the case right here. Let's get this out of here. Put it to the side. No screen shields, guys. So it's a two-piece case. You guys see it's half black. The, lip, the frame is half black. The lip is half black. And then the back of the case is like has that fabric on it. So no screen shields at all. Boo-hoo. Screen shield would have been nice, but no screen shield. So here's the case, two piece. Let's get the iPod and put it in there. So here it is, uh, very soft inside, no flash whatsoever. I can feel this, it's very smooth matte finish. Not worried about it scratching the back of my iPod at all. It's a spec inside right there. Designed in California, made in China. So very smooth inside, not worried at all about scratching my iPod because it is a matte finish. So you guys just want to slide this in here, just like that, and then pop that in there. And then this is in there. These are it's held being held in there by these two clips right here. You guys can see it curves around right there, and then curves around right there, and it has cutouts right there. But let's get on the top frame. Now the top frame, it's kind, it's just plastic, and then on the lip right here, it's matte finish. It's very smooth. I really like the lip. It's very curved, cut out nicely. So here's the frame, lip, whatever. And then there's like a cut out groove right here, which you tuck under this part right here. So just stick it under there, tuck it under there, make sure it locks up right there. And then you have this other groove right here, which you tuck under this side. So the two pieces lock in, which I really like how they're, <coughs> excuse me, how they lock their cases. Because I'm not worried about this falling off. That's why I usually am worried about two piece cases, but with this case, not worried at all. So you want to tuck this in there under that case. Make sure it locks. I see it's not locked right here. Make sure you guys lock all around the case. I just hear that. You're done, guys. So that's what it is. You got cutouts right here. Very nice. Very easy to access. Sleep wake button. Very easy to access. Nothing on the side. Dock fully exposed. So yeah, if you like to dock, it works. The headphone jacks very nicely exposed. What I really liked about this case was the lip. Usually. Lips don't, lips, <laughs> I want to say that, lips aren't that great, ah, the bezel, there you go, there you go, there you go, bezel, bezel is very thick, I'm not worried about this at all, I want to face it down like that, it's very thick, very great drop protection, not worried about these two pieces coming apart at all, because they have very strong locks guys, there's, I believe there's one up here, one, one down here right here, and then got these two on the side right here holding these pieces together, so I'm not worried at all about these two pieces falling apart, now for the fabric part, now I am getting a little liftage right here. It's, the fabric is beginning <coughs> to peel off right here. It's beginning to wear a little, but it's fabric. What are you going to do? Uh, beginning to wear at the corner, but I'm sure you guys can cut those off or glue it back on. But not very much wear. I'm not worried about that at all. Very, It's ba barely wearing, guys. That's all I can say, but that's just a little heads up right there. It will begin to lift up sooner or later as time goes by. But on the fabric side, it definitely feels like it's just like yarn. Lay it out, glued onto the back of a plastic case. Literally, that's what it feels like. It feels very soft. Uh, not that soft, but it does feel very great in the hand. Definitely keep your hands warm when you're cold or something. But it feels great in the hand. I really like the matte finish lip bezel right here. Covers up everything. Goes great. Uh, so these this case comes in like three different designs. I have one right here and then the black pinstripe and then that brown color. I don't know, Spec has some weird designs, but... 
Here's the one that I really like. It has right there. Spec right there. You can see the logo. Spec right there. Very nice case. For you guys that like this design, check them out. Definitely recommend this case. The only thing that killed it for me was the design. Nothing much else but that. But to take this case off, I usually go attack it from the volume rock right there. Pull that off. <coughs> Sorry guys, my voice is dying. And then usually pop that off like that. Very simple, very easy. And then usually just... When you take this frame off one side, just lift it up like that, and your iPod just pops right out of the case. Watch. That pops off under there, because that frame lifts it up off under there. Under there, and you guys are done. Very simple, very easy to take off, very easy to put on. I'm not worried about these two pieces falling off, no flash, not worried about my iPod getting scratched in here. Overall, a great case for you guys. Go sure to ch Be sure to check them out at specproducts.com if you guys are interested. Uh, a lot of great cases over there for the 2G. Hopefully they uh, recontinue that YouTube reviewer code because I really enjoy products on spec. Uh, trying to get my hands on that candy show. So, guys, thanks for watching. Obey Brandon signing out. And be sure to check out Binoco, guys. Thanks, spec.